Welcome to this video review about the Steiner Ranger 4 to 16 by 56 rifle scope. Uh, as you probably know, Steiner is one of the biggest producers of binoculars in Europe. Uh, I think they are even the biggest producer of binoculars in Europe. And somewhere around 2014, they started to produce also the rifle scopes. Their first series of rifle scopes was called Night Hunter and they just went into the premium class of rifle scopes from the start. I think it was not the best move they did because I, I believe that um, you have to build your reputation from, from down towards up and not from up towards down. So to be honest the Night Force, uh, the, not the Night Force but the Night Hunters, uh, the Night Hunters um, series of rifle scope was really well made. It was made in Germany. It had 30 years of warranty and so on, but it is not commercially that successful because uh, other competitors like Zeiss and Swarovski, Kales and Leica, they were producing the rifle scopes in the premium class for decades. So it was really hard for a newcomer, even though Steiner is a really big company with really a lot of uh, knowledge about optics. Uh, but still, they were a newcomer in premium class of optics, so I believe for them it was quite hard to enter it. So in 2017, they came out with a, with a second series of rifle scopes, and these are the Rangers, which we have one of their models here. And it was much smarter move, because uh, they placed these scopes between 900 euros and 1200 euros, and they offered really decent product for this price class in terms of quality and they're really really successful. So now when they're selling thousands and thousands of these rifle scopes and when they have a huge base of, um, of customers which, um, uh, which have some experience with their pro uh, products and in majority I'm sure good experience, now I think it's going to be much easier for them to, to have a second try and to do premium uh, rifle scopes again. So we are talking about rifle scopes with a price around 2,500 euros and, and more. Uh, but let's talk about the Rangers. The Rangers came out in 2017 at EVA show. I remember it quite well. Uh, it, it was quite, quite a big news because at that time there was still crowded place around 1,000 euros. Uh, with uh, with all the options, but not many that would have this, I would say, premium European feel and which would be designed especially for the European hunters. Because honestly speaking, Leica at that time had uh, their uh, ER uh, rifle scopes, which were roughly priced around 1,500 euros and upwards. Kales had Helia 5, which was, I would say, nearer to 2,000 euros. Uh, Size had the Conquest uh, DL at that time, okay, it was in this class. And Swarovski didn't have anything in that class. So it was not really crowded in, in terms of traditional European uh, scopes uh, for traditional European hunters. And I think it was really smart move for Steiner to move in. Okay, normally at that time it was Doctor, it still is, the Noblex was here and Minox. Uh, but not many others, because the Japanese competitors usually lack the understanding of what the European hunter needs, and so their scopes are designed a little bit differently, and also the Americans. The Americans also have a completely different way how they hunt, so this low light uh, performance and so on is not as important as in Europe. The Ranger scopes itself, uh, so at the beginning in 2017 there were four models, 1 to 4 for driven hunts, 2 to 8 by 42 for uh, stalking and then 3 to 12 by 56 for low light and this 4 to 16 by 56 also for low light but also conditionally for long range. Uh, they're all waterproofed, filled with nitrogen so no internal fogging at low temperatures. Uh, the manufacturer rates them that they work from minus 25 to plus 65. I would bet they work even in, in harsher temperatures. And they all come with 30 millimeter central tube and with a illuminated reticle. Only 4 to 16 comes with a with um, parallax adjustment on a side focus, 
which goes all the way from 50 meters to infinity. And as you can see, it has a really nice long travel uh, and a small detail. I like such small details on scopes. You see two small dots on 100 meters. Uh, the reticle illumination system is also on the same turret and it's the same like on all other Ranger models. So it goes from zero all the way to 11 and there are there is zero again after the the highest intensity setting and there is zero between each intensity level. Uh, all the way to six, these intensity levels are meant for low light use and they're really fine, precise. You can adjust them uh, for any kind of uh, conditions you have. And then from seven onwards is daytime, uh, daytime bright illuminated dot. Uh, the length of this scope is 37 centimeters. So it's a really big scope, a really long one. And the weight is approximately 720 grams. Uh, and it doesn't feature any mounting rail. So no scope in this um, segment features a mounting rail uh, from Steiner at least. Um, maybe, hopefully in the future we'll see also that they will offer these scopes with a, with a, with a rail mounting option. Uh, the battery inside of the illumination system is CR2032, so a standard battery which you can buy everywhere and where all the and which all other scopes also feature. And like I said, the Steiner is a German company, even though this scope is not made in Germany, it's made in the US. But still the quality, uh, if, if they wouldn't be frank about it, I think nobody would notice that they are not made in Germany because the quality is there. It is uh, even exceeding what you expect in a, in a class around 1000 euros, especially in terms of how the illumination dot is uh, well made. The warranty is 10 years and the service, if something goes wrong, can be done in Germany. So this is a big plus. And they are, uh, Steiner is really famous that their service department is probably one of the best in the industries. They can match the Swarovski service department or are at least really close. And they outperform majority of other um, manufacturers. Especially if you damage the scope uh, and it's not covered by the warranty, they're still able to repair it. And as with binoculars, you can see miracles what they're able to do. Um, Okay, in general, I would say a scope is really big, even though it's big, it's not too heavy, uh, but it's not a compact scope and it's especially the length, it's, it's really long. Uh, the reticles, the reticle is in the second focal plane. It's a classical standard 4A reticle and the dot illuminated in this model is really, really fine. On the highest magnification is only one centimeters, one centimeter wide. So really precise and fine dot. With this model uh, at 14, uh, at 16 time magnification, you're also able to see all the details. Together with the scope, you get a bikini uh, lens covers, you get a general manual. This manual is the same like with all other, with all other models. And you get a sticker, Steiner sticker. So I would say just the basics you get with them. There are really good flip up covers available for uh, as an after sale accessory and i would um, suggest you you check them out because they're really good and um, they're not that expensive and they are really nice addition to this scope so the reticle second focal plane classic reticle really nice dot and as, as i explained the dot has 11 intensity levels so with this fine dot and uh, really thin um, crosshairs in the reticle, this scope can be used for, for shots on longer ranges. It is also daytime bright, the illumination, and I think it has an automatic turn off. Okay, the turrets, the turrets itself, they are low profile capped hunting turrets with 80 clicks in one revolution. And with this scope, you're able to purchase it in a BC version, which gives you the ballistic control. This is the BC. It's basically the BDC uh, turret, so the ballistic drop compensation. And if you order the BC version, you get this set of five different 
ballistic rings which you place on top of your turret and then without the cap if you just use the this cap which goes here uh, you basically transform your rifle scope into a BDC BDC um, turret uh, what it is a little bit I would say um, interesting is that it doesn't feature zero stop a uh, zero stop so you have to know how to use it it features five different ballistic curves the easiest way to choose which one is the right one for you is to check the drop on 400 meters and then either try your bullet and see what is your actual ballistic um, ballistic uh, curve or you can calculate the ballistic curve but it is a true BDC turret because you can see it it features 100, 200, 300 and 400 meters engraved on the ring so uh, compared to some tactical turrets that you find on the um, on similar scope let's say from uh, from size the Conquest V4 and on Leopold scopes I would say for a, for a, um, average hunter in Europe this is much better because when you decide which ring fits closest to your actual ballistic curve this can also be done by a gunsmith then you just turn the dial to the distance you wish and and it will be quite uh, accurate so you can see you can turn the dial to 250 and at 250 you will be uh, dead on uh, you know you have to understand that all of this is just an approximation if you would wish to have an exact ballistic turret then this system is not accurate enough then you need uh, like BTF from Swarovski or, or something similar but still I would say out to 300 meters even if you have an, an error of let's say two centimeters or three centimeters for hunting this error can be neglected it's not a problem uh, so this set is also available for purchase as a separate item but uh, most of the people just decides to buy the whole uh, rifle scope with this set included and then the rifle scope has a BC markings uh, if I say a little bit more about the elevation and windage range the elevation range is 8.5 uh, mils so roughly this almost almost becomes a single turn turret um, because it has uh, 8 mils of travel in one revolution and it's not the best elevation range even though this is a hunting scope it's not that important it is intended also for long range hunting so it could have featured a little bit more of uh, elevation um, we know that some other manufacturers with 30 millimeter tube can do uh, more elevation um, the turrets normally are also resettable okay the optical performance it's 4 to 16 by 56 uh, 4 times zoom and approximately 9 meters of uh, field of view at the lowest magnification so the field of view is um, I would say decent but it's not above average like it is on uh, 2 to 8 and 2.5 models so 2 to 8 by 42 and 2.5 to 10 by 50 they have even a better field of view for their uh, magnification range uh, we do know scopes with 4 to 16 magnification range that feature a little bit more of field of view um, almost 10 meters or some even 11 meters but it's not a big issue because when you look through it you still have a wide image and the eye box is still is still quite good so especially when considering this is a 1000 euro scope it's more than good enough the um, light transmission rate is around 90 percent so it can be used also in low light uh, it also features fast focus like all modern scopes do non-lockable uh, just for the diopter setting okay this leaves us for um, my summary uh, I always come to the summary at the end and then I I go through the positives what I think it's good and then I also go through the negatives or what could have been done better because we know there is no perfect scope on the market so I like the modern design of this scope I also like the optical performance for 1000 euros it, uh, optical performance is really good um, I also like the illumination the system itself and the dot the dot is really fine and precise and you can 
you can fine tune it uh, with the uh, with 11 intensity levels it's it's really easy to fine tune it for dusk and dawn i also like the the way that you are able to turn off the illumination between each intensity levels and the zero on both sides it's also very smart um, no tunnel effect this is a modern scope but not long ago a lot of scopes had a tunnel effect at uh, lower magnification this one has none and i also think it's well, very well made and service in germany 10 years warranty is, is also a big plus what i think could have been done better the parallax if you use gloves if you uh if it's cold and so on it will be hard to to use this parallax um this is the first thing the second thing what i think it could have been done better is the length of the scope 37 centimeters it's it's quite a long scope i also think if they made other uh, models in this series with a uh, with exceptional field of view with this model we only get i would say an average field of view so okay it's not a big minus but um, uh, i'm just spoiled by their 2 to 8 by 42 model which is really great in this term um I also think that the elevation range of uh, 8.5 mils or milli radians, 85 centimeters per 100 meters, it's not that big if they intended this scope for long range use. I think it's more like, I, I, I consider a perfect scenario for this scope is that you go to 16 time magnification just to see the animal better. Uh, and then you go down to let's say 10 or 8 and then you shoot it. but I wouldn't do shots on bigger distances than 300 meters, to be honest, because uh, I think this is for for this type of scope. I, I would say this is the 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 line to which I would go. 400 meters is already a stretch. With a 400 meters uh, shot, you need a I would say um, a different tool, or and not to speak about 500, 600 meter shots. Um, okay, this is the summary. All in all. For someone who needs some additional magnification for be able to see the details on the animals better it's a good choice uh, if you're using it just for low light use and for general use i would go with 3 to 12 by 56 because of the wider field of view uh, so it goes down to uh, personal preferences preference uh, still for 1150 euros you get one hell of a good quality uh, it is true, however, that in four times zoom, not five times or six times zoom, but uh, we all know that scopes with equal optical quality with fifth time or six times zoom will cost substantially more. Thank you for watching. Please check our other uh, video reviews. And if you have any questions, send us an email. Normally also subscribe.